Hi, I'm Jared Thompson. I'm the EMS Division Chief for the City of Wausau Fire Department. And today we're doing some EMS training on cardiac arrest and advanced airway management. Advanced cardiac resuscitation is still advanced cardiac life support, but we are uh, tailoring our treatment modalities to how the patient's presenting to us and what information our cardiac monitor is giving us, such as in tidal uh, capnography, we're looking at uh, capnometry values as well as waveforms. We're using a, a number of different pieces of equipment. With our, our mechanical CPR device, the Zoll Auto Pulse, we are actually able to elevate the patient that's in cardiac arrest to 30 degrees. And what that allows to happen is uh, blood flow from the brain. It helps aid that uh, blood flow draining from the brain back into the right side of the heart. So when the, auto, the autopulse com compresses with its circumferential squeeze, it uh, transfers more blood back into the lungs than back into the left side of the heart, which then it ejects more oxygenated blood into the brain. And that's what we're really worried about is blood flow uh, from the heart to the heart, as well as to the brain and back from the brain as well. Already in Wausau, uh, our cardiac arrest um, resuscitation rate is 14%. Uh, nationwide, it's 7%, and in the state of Wisconsin, it's roughly 10%. So we're already ahead of the game, and adding uh, some of these techniques and thought processes, such as using uh, an impedance threshold device, placing an NG tube to decompress the abdomen, which decreases intracranial pressure, elevating the patient, helps not only achieve spontaneous return of circulation, but it also protects the brain so when they are discharged from the hospital, they can have a, a good quality of life. The airway training that we did today, we try to simulate vomit or any saliva material that may pose a challenge for our paramedics when we're placing an endotracheal tube. So we've adopted a technique called SALAD. It's su uh, suction-assisted laryngoscopy with airway decontamination. And this was, I, I want to give credit to Dr. James DeCanto, an anesthesiologist that works down in the southern part of the state, has spearheaded uh, this technique, and it is a technique that we've adopted here at Wasa Fire. So we can set up a, a homemade vomit simulator uh, so our paramedics can actually have to battle through simulated vomit or uh, foreign material that we wouldn't expect to encounter. You know, we're fortunate to have great hospitals uh, in the in the Wasa area, and uh, the city of Wasa is fortunate to have such great paramedics that are supported uh, not only by the community but also um, at the upper levels and at, at City Hall and within our department here so that we're able to uh, deliver such high quality of care to the patient, stabilize them as much as we can in the field and get them to, the, to those facilities where they can uh, have the attention of the nurses and doctors that specialize in uh, cardiac care or respiratory care or stroke care. I'm very proud to be the EMS division chief for the Wasa Fire Department because um, when, the, when someone calls 911 and they hear that ambulance coming, they can know that they're getting some of the absolute best paramedics in the state of Wisconsin.